Lord. Today's opening scripture comes from Exodus chapter 20, the Ten Commandments for Israel. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness, or anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. This is the iniquities of the fathers upon the children, on the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy to the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Thou, thou do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy father, nor thy daughter, nor thy man servant, nor thy maid servant, nor the cattle, or the stranger within thy gates. For in the six days the Lord made the heaven and earth and the sea, and all that is in them is, and rested on the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the name of the Lord that God gave thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, thou shalt not his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, anything that is thy neighbor. The Lord God Jesus' name pray, amen. 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 I'd like to say happy Sabbath to everybody. Yeah. Happy Sabbath to everybody. First and foremost, we always like to give praise and honor to the God of Israel, of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. We need the title of the lesson today. The title of the lesson is The Return of Jesus. The return of Jesus. And the reason why I titled this lesson is to help people understand how and when will Jesus return. Come on. Because most of the Sunday churches preach that it's going to be a secret rapture. But the ones in the truth understand that there is nothing secret about Jesus' return, period. Amen. Believe me, it's a lot going to be going on. Come on. And they worship past those six trumpets and trying to get to the seven. That's, right. That's when Jesus is coming on that seven. Yeah, so we got to make sure that we educate the world as long, along with Israel that Jesus' return is not going to be secret. And it's got to you, every, every eye shall see, every tongue will confess that he's Lord. And they're going to see him. But I'm going to unpack this lesson so you'll understand in detail about his return. We're going to turn to Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Let's unpack the return of Jesus. Because, believe me, it's packed up in this Bible, mm -hmm. and most people ain't open the pages of this book to read it, to unpack it in their mind. That's right. You got to have confidence in this thing yourself. Mm -hmm. Salvation is something that's a personal between you and the Lord. He's looking to see that you does you does you understand, do I understand as individuals. It ain't just like this as a whole. Jeff understand, okay, all, everybody on the Jeff going to go to the kingdom. No, he's looking at everybody individually. Like, do you really understand my return? Mm -hmm. My return. So we're going to unpack it. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 24. We're going to start with verse 21. When you get it, brother, go ahead. For then shall be great tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Before Jesus come back, it's going to be a great tribulation. And we're going to break that down also. It's going to be three and a half years of total destruction. And that's what the world is not prepared for. Go ahead. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, 
those days shall be shortened. You see how crucial this is? He said, the Lord said he had to shorten these days because man was going to destroy all flesh because man has created nuclear weapons that can create destroy all flesh. So he said he got to shorten these days. He probably had it for four years. He said, nah, I can't get it for four years. I've got to go three and a half because this man is crazy. He's trying to destroy himself. Go ahead. 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. No, sir. Go ahead. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. See, a lot of people, if you are mesmerized by wonders and signs and miracles, you will be deceived. Because these false prophets don't have the power to call fire from heaven. You gonna be if you don't understand this, you'll say, "Oh man, he must be God." No, Satan can call fire from heaven. Man can call fire from heaven if he have the faith of a grain of mustard seed. Elijah did. Didn't he do it? So this shouldn't be nothing like it mem mesmerize you. But some people, a lot of people that had to unpack this lesson on the return of Jesus, they're going to be fooled. They're going to be fooled. Go ahead. 25. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, mm -hmm. go not forth. Yes, sir. Behold, he is in the secret changer, chambers, believe it not. He said, look, if he's in the desert, don't believe it. If he's in a secret chamber, like a lot of people in these southern churches say, we're going to have a secret rapture. He's going to rapture people off this earth. Look at the movies. Left behind, car driving, they said, boom. And the car you're driving, they said, airplane, ride, flying, they said, boom. The people off the airplane. This stuff is ain't written in the Bible. Listen to what he just said. The next verse, he's going to tell you, ain't nothing secret about his return, period. Amen. Go ahead. 27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. That covers it all. From east to west, you're going to see it. Everybody's going to see it. It covers it all. So stop thinking that it's going to be something secret. Stop looking at these movies on TVN now. Because I watched a lot of them when I was coming up. And I thought this was supposed to happen. We're going to get left behind if we don't get right. Only people going to get left behind that don't understand this book. You understand that? Go ahead. 28. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Because when he comes back, there's going to be so many dead bodies upon this earth that the blood going to come up to the horse's bridle. He's going to use the birds to eat up all the flesh because you can't bear them all. This ain't nothing secret about this. This is the return of Jesus. Let me show you when he going to return. Go ahead. 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Notice what he said, immediately after the tribulation. Immediately. If your pastor ain't taught you what is the tribulation, you're going to get lost into the mix of this destruction. Before Jesus comes back, he comes back on the seventh trump. Six other trumpets got to blow. Those six, six deadly trumpets, they're going to destroy this earth. Understand Go ahead. He said, meet after the tribulation. Go ahead. Of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light. Mm -hmm. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Yes, sir. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. He said, then, mm -hmm. after all that come to pass, then Jesus is going to come back. Mm -hmm. He's come back then, not before the first trumpet blows. The second trumpet blows. The third, all the way down to the sixth. He coming at the seventh, and he going to fight too. Go ahead. And then shall appear the sign of man, the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Mm -hmm. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Yes, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. That don't sound like a secret to me. He going to come with great power. A man that speaks with great authority. If you don't come under the ban of the covenant, he will destroy you. He's going to destroy you. Ain't nothing secret about it. This is the return of Jesus. What else is he going to do? And he, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. That great sound of the trumpet is the seventh trump. Mm -hmm. 
The first resurrection, if you understand that, is two resurrections. He going to call this angel out, which is Michael. He going to say, get him up out the ground. Get him up off the earth. Come up in the sky with me. I'm going to give them their heavenly bodies. But you telling me that my grandma is in heaven right now looking down on me. Who you lying to? It sure ain't me. This is what we got to understand. The return of Jesus is nothing secret about it. Nothing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be destruction. We're going to see this. What we at? 15. Go back, skip up, back up. Yeah, just go back up to 15. Let me show you something. You got to hit this. Because we're going to the book of Daniel. Daniel. Go ahead. 15. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. The New Testament church can't read that. Because Pastor have taught you that the Old Testament has been fulfilled. It ain't been fulfilled. Right. He said, who's so reading that he understand? This Jesus telling us to go to Daniel and understand about the abomination of desolation. This is not talking about some fictitious character. This is some man of sin that's real. If you ain't prepared to understand where he come from, what church he come from, you'll be kissing his hand. You'll be bowing down to him, as most of them are going to do in these last days. Thank you, the holy man on this earth. That joker will take you straight to the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. The man of sin, which is the abomination of desolation. Let me show you how Jesus said, get, get away from him. Go ahead. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. He said, get to the mountain. Because he's going to come in Jerusalem. He's going to come in the holy place and he's going to take it over. He's going to say, he God. And Allah going to follow. He said, leave Judea. So if you were in Israel at this time, it ain't safe for you to be in Israel at this time. Stay where you at. Wait till this man step on the scene and come in Jerusalem and say, he's here to rule and reign. We know where to go. Go ahead. 17. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. No, sir. Go ahead. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. So you got money in the house, clothes in the house. Leave it. Find your transportation. I got to go back and get, lock, lock my house, I got to go back and get my clothes, got to go, man, you better find your transportation and go. Because God going to have everything we need on them boats and planes. They're going to be just like the children of Israel coming out of Egypt the first time when, when Moses let them out. They're going to spoil us. They're going to say, y'all get out of here. They're going to be the exact same way. Stop worrying about passport. Go ahead. 19. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. So when you, you got a child, especially a newborn, you better be the first one to get on. Because you know how hard it is to get yourself there. You got a child, you got to feed, breastfeed, whatever it is. You better make sure you're the first one getting in, in, in the place of safety. Because it's going to be tough. Go ahead. Verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. So we still going to be keeping the Sabbath day? He's still mentioning the Sabbath day. Why are you in the church on the Sabbath day? The Sabbath day is Saturday. Not Sunday, but they got you in church Sunday. This thing is going to be real prevalent at this time for people to understand what's going on. And they're going to be looking at people like, let me see what Pastor Pope Chop doing. Let me follow him. you looking at him. He's going to lead you to the mark of the beast. This is what we got to understand. The return of Jesus. Amen. Let's look at this abomination and desolation that Jesus said. But if you're a New Testament church, you can't turn off and tell you to turn. <laughs> Go to Daniel. Now, you know they got some funny Bibles out here. You just need your New Testament and Psalms. Yeah, mm -hmm. And they ain't even in this book. Mm. They ain't chapter 11. Jesus said, Go back to the, to the book of Daniel to understand about this abomination and desolation. Let's see what Daniel had to say. But like I said, if you're a New Testament church, you can't look. You hear it from you. We're going to start with Daniel chapter 11 and verse 15. These are the events that are going to happen. Prepare your mind for this. And believe me, don't get mad with me because I didn't write this. I mean, this brother just read it. That's it. Daniel chapter 11 verse 15. Let's look at the events that got to happen before Jesus comes. All hasn't been fulfilled just because he died on the cross. He fulfilled his part. Now, this book got to be fulfilled. Verse 15, go ahead. So the king of the north shall come and cast up a mount and take the most fenced cities 
and the armies of the south shall not withstand. Neither his chosen people, neither shall there be any strength to withstand. I understand this. I got this map up here. It's going to be a great war that happened all over the world. And he's going to tell you about the kings of the south, north, east, and west. But we got time to go and all that. But these great kings going to push. And they're going to push against everybody. Everybody jockeying for territory. So if you ain't in the right territory, you're going to be in a world of trouble. Everybody got their little sector. You know what I'm saying? When he said the kings on the north, they're talking about these kings up here of uh, uh, Russia and their allies coming down. They're going to come down at the Euphrates River and they're going to make wreak havoc in Jerusalem. But we're going to be in the wilderness at the time. I ain't getting ahead of myself, but let's look at this. This is talking about the man that's seen. Verse 16, go ahead. But he that cometh against him shall do according to his own will. According to who will? His own will. His own will. This man will be great and powerful. Go ahead. And none shall stand before him, and he shall stand in the glorious land, which by his hand shall be consumed. Where's the glorious land? Jerusalem. All this stuff going to go down in Jerusalem. That's the hot spot. Mm -hmm. Hot. So understand, stay where you at until he set up shop there. We ain't moving. Well, I'm not moving until I know he set up shop in Jerusalem. Go ahead. 17. He shall also set his face to enter with the strength of his whole kingdom. Wait, wait a minute. He going to set the face to enter the face of his whole kingdom? Yeah. The Roman Catholic Church is his kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's in Rome. The Catholic, Catholicism. This is what he's talking about. That little horn from Rome. Go ahead. He shall, he shall also set his face to enter with the strength of his whole kingdom yes, and upright ones with him. Thus shall he do. And he shall give him the daughter of women, corrupting her. But she shall not stand on his side, neither be for him. Now understand, at this time it's going to be a great rising of power. Women going to have a lot of power. Y'all see this right now. Mm -hmm. He going to stand on his side and give the power to the women. How do you defeat a great nation? You make the women strong and the men weak. Yes, this is how you def def this is you, you take the protector out the way. This is what he's gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Because he's also said it shall corrupt her and she shall not stand on his side. Neither for him. Why? Because Roman Catholic priests don't marry. They ain't got no use for no woman. Most of them are homosexuals. They ain't got no use for no more show you this. Go ahead. 18. After this shall he turn his face into the isles and shall take many. But a prince for his own behalf shall cause the reproach offered by him to cease. Yes, sir. Without his own reproach, he shall cause it to turn upon him. Understand right now, in Jerusalem, they train the Levitical priests to take up animal sacrifices. And they ain't going to them. He going to come in the temple and say, look, y'all stop. The prince is here. The Jesus is here. I'm stopping man with sacrifice. This is what's going to go down right here, and they're going to do so. And he's going to have power. He'll be calling fire from there. He's going to be doing a lot of stuff. They're going to say, he must be the Christ. Go ahead. 19. Then he shall turn his face toward the fort of his own land, but he shall stumble and fall and not be found. Go ahead. Then he shall stand up in his estate, a raiser of taxes, in the glory of the kingdom. But within a few days he shall be destroyed, neither in anger nor in battle. He's going to raise up in his land and raise the taxes because everybody come to him for instructions. The Roman Catholic Church, that's the most powerful religious figure on this world right now. But people don't know, understand it. He give orders to all the presidents. They come to him to kiss his reign. This is reign. You can look at this on YouTube. This man is going to be very powerful and prevalent in the land. At our day, this generation will see him. Go ahead. What else he going to do? 21. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person. Wait a minute. He said in his estate, in this church, go set up a vile person, which is the man of sin. Some people call him the Antichrist, but we know him as the man of sin, which is abomination, desolation. Going to stand in the holy place. He going to stand in his estate. Go ahead. Shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom. But he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flattery. Wait a minute, he gonna come in peacefully? Mm -hmm. How he gonna come in peacefully? Cause most people right now, you can't talk to them like the old people used to talk to them, tell them the five grim of uh, going to hell messages and all yeah. this stuff. He come in peacefully. Don't worry about that. 
You ain't got to keep no commandment. Keep keeping that Christmas tree in your house. Mm. Keep hiding the eggs. Mm. Keep Thanksgiving. Keep Mother's Day. Keep all this. We good. Let me handle the big stuff. Y'all just have fun out there. Flattery. Understand that. When a person wants to get something from you, they will flatter you before they come with the real asking what they want. This is what this man is going to do. He's going to be working behind the scenes. He said he's a vile person. All this got to happen before Jesus returned. These are the events. Go ahead. 22. And with the armies of the flood shall they be overthrown from before him. This arms of the flood, he's going to have a great army. Powerful army. That's going to be behind him. With a flood. Meaning that he's going to have so many you can't even count. On his side. Go ahead. And with the arms of the flood shall they be overthrown from before him. Mm -hmm. And shall be broken. Yeah, also the prince of the covenant. The prince of the covenant. Understand, this ain't the holy covenant. Right. <laughs> this is the covenant he made with the people. He gonna break it. What it is, go ahead. And after the league made with him, he shall work deceitfully. Wait a minute, what is the league? It's a contract. After he made with all the kings of the east, north of all these people, he said he gonna do what? Work deceitfully. Work deceitfully. Mm -hmm. Understand, every peace treaty that America, anybody that have made, they broke it. They broke it. But he's going to fool them with flattery. All this stuff got to go down. This is the man of sin right here. Go ahead. And after the league made with him, he shall work deceitfully. For he shall come up and shall become strong with the small people. Who that small people he going to become strong with? Esau, our twin brother. They're in the land right now. They're going to build the temple. He going to become strong. They're going to let him in. This is what God telling you about prophecy. All this stuff got to go down. But if you don't know the plans of the book, you looking at me saying, what chapter? No, you better look at this book and get your mind right. The small people, them Jews over there, them Jewish people, that is the sin of God of Satan, who claim it to be us. This is what he telling us. They gonna give him that power. Go ahead. 24, he shall enter peaceably even upon the fattest places of the province. Peacefully? How you gonna have peace with it? Cause nobody fear him. He gonna have all the money. He gonna have all the food. He gonna have everything you need. So you won't fear him. But the ones that gotta understand, they know. Get away from him. Get in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And he shall do that which his fathers have not done, nor his father's fathers. He shall scatter among them the prey and spoil and riches. Yeah, and he shall forecast his devices against the strongholds, even for a time. Wait a minute, this man shall enter in peacefully. And he said, he shall scatter among them prey and spoil the riches. Meaning he's going to have resources. He's going to have food. He's going to have shelter. All these things he's going to give you if you take hold of his device. You hear what he said? His devices against the stronghold even for a time. What is that? Let's see what it is. Let's go to Revelation chapter 13. All this stuff will happen. Dealing with this device. Let me show you this device. Revelation 13 and verse 11. This is the return of Jesus. If you don't understand this, and you follow somebody who you think understands this, you're going to get caught up in the mix. We're dealing with devices now. What did he say about that device? He gonna give spoil, prey, prey, food, all this stuff, and riches. He gonna have it all. Revelation chapter eleven. 13, 13. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going ahead on himself. Revelation chapter thirteen, verse eleven. Let's see what he's talking about. Go ahead. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. He looked like a Christian. He had two horns and a lamb. He's copycat and copycat in Jesus. But he spoke like who? Like a dragon. Like a dragon. If you don't know the holy covenant of God, you will get flat. And you will follow him and worship him. All of this must take place before the return of Jesus. What else he going to do? Go ahead. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him. And causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Wait a minute. He got all power? He gonna be in the European Economic Community, which is the ten toes of day what he talks about in this book. He gonna assume power. He gonna be that king. And they gonna do 
what he tells them to do. He go, they're going to follow him, follow that man of sin. Go ahead. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. See what I'm saying? Miracles. If you are mesmerized by miracles, you will follow him. He got to be God. He got all the money. He got all the shelter. He got all the water. He got everything. And most people ain't read this. They haven't unpacked this in the book and, and been able to identify him. We can identify him. Go ahead. 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. You see what I'm saying? By miracles in the sight of the beast, which is the beast's kingdom. His kingdom. He ruling. They look at him and say, this man got great power. We got to follow him. He talking, he talking about no animal right here. Go back to Daniel chapter 7 he tell you about these kingdoms. These are kingdoms. Go ahead. Middle of the 14. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Here come the device. Here come the device. Make an image to what? To the beast. To the beast. Mm -hmm. Here come the robots. Here come their face. Here come he, the robots going to look at your hand and see if you got the mark on your right hand or your forehead. Go ahead. 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Wait a minute. He mm -hmm. had power to give life to what? To the beast. To the image, image of, of the beast. beast. Mm -hmm. Meaning that he going to control these robots. Go online. They got robotic soldiers right now. Been had them for 10 years or better. Robotic stuff. And they're going to make an image to him. If you don't do what he say, this one's going to happen. Go ahead. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So he find that you're trying to keep the Sabbath, instead of Sunday, you're going to get killed. He find that you sit up and spreading the truth, saying that you got to keep the Passover, the feast of living bread, the day of atonement, all this stuff. They're going to find you. They're going to kill you. He said this image, which is going to be a robot. Go back to the movie and look at I Robot with Will Smith. That will give you a good picture in your mind. Now, all this got to happen before Jesus come back. Go ahead. What else? 16. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's the device. He looking for, if you got a mark in your right hand or your forehead, feed him. Feed her. Give him water. Give her water. But if you don't have it now, in there, he won't do nothing for you. He'll kill you. Go ahead. 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. See, pay close attention to this. He said that no man might buy or sell. You got people thinking that, well, I'm just going to live off on the land over there. You don't own nothing. Whatever land you own now, you pay something called property tax. Whatever car you drive now, you pay something called a tag. If you go to the grocery store, you got to buy this stuff with food, with money. You can have a pocket full of money, and you come up there for the pay. First thing they're going to ask you, let me see your ID card. They test running us right now. It's, go to New York and see what they're doing in New York right now. Believe me, we are out of saying all this stuff. But we can't, we can't get it all in one lesson. This man can control the world. That's why it's going to be real important that you understand this for yourself. To flee from all your cars, all your houses, all your clothes, everything you got here, and get to the wilderness. If you hold on to that, you will get stuck in this tribulation. Now, some of y'all might survive. Because he said a great number going to come out in that tribulation period. But I ain't trying to do that. Hmm. Y'all gonna do it. I understand that, Paul. Read that again. 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Yes, sir. You know that number 666. Go ahead. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, 3, 4, 6. You understand the Pope number, Vicarious Philly die, that is his number. You added up the Roman numbers, it come out 666. We know about this. 
It ain't nothing new. You know about this for years. <laughs> 